I wanted to show you a couple of tricks that are nice for sort of live performance. I've got a project loaded up straight from the machine library here. And you can see I'm in arrangement view. Well, hopefully you can see I'm in arrangement view on the, uh, on the controller on the machine studio. And you can see that we're looping a section back within the arrangement on the software. Now what happens if you want to change that loop point? Well, obviously you can change it here in the software, but if you're working on the hardware, it's quite nice to be able to change that loop point right on the fly. So let's take a look at how you do that now. Now, down here on the transport, loop is actually on the restart button, and this is the same on the Mark II, and you can press Shift, loop, and then on the studio at least, you can use the jog wheel here to change the area that's looped. So I can just go to the beginning of a pattern, and the nice thing is that it, it starts playing from that area. It obviously takes a little while to catch up. And if you find that it's not following what you're doing, this little uh, show looped area uh, icon up in the top end of the software should be highlighted, because then when you change the loop area, for instance, I go right back to the beginning, it will follow what I'm doing. Now, I'm changing the loop area here at the minute, or where at least where my loop is playing back. But you can also change the loop length. Um, so if you press, this is quite a lot of buttons to press, by the way, but if you press shift, loop, and then the right button, that will change essentially the right locator. And the nice thing is here, the indoors sometimes when you do this, the, the cursor will play outside of the loop area and you'll have to re relocate it to inside the loop zone. But in machine, when I change the looped area, it'll always stay within the catchment area of the loop. You can see that no matter what I do, even if I change the parts very quickly and then change the... I'm never losing the loop. So that's a really nice way of quickly, on the fly, changing loop points. And you can make them really small. So let's get this chorus area looped. And if we like, we can move around in the display here and we can zoom in and find exactly the part we're working on. And this is, you know, only going to happen in the hardware, by the way. So it's independent to the software. So you could have one you could have one view in the software. Like I was saying earlier, you could have your mixer showing your groups, for example, and we can still view the arrangement on the hardware. Now let's say we want to add a part here, and I'm going to come out of a range. Um, and let's say I want to add a hat. You know, like a sixteenth. But I want to make sure it's dead on the grid but I maybe want to change the velocity and I maybe want to change the timing. We can use note repeat for this and this is a really nice function to use. As soon as I hit note repeat, you'll see a whole new screen come up. Um, I'm going to leave it on mixer in here, but actually let's come out of it. And when I hit note repeat, I can then change the timing from 16th to 64th to 30 seconds. Now the nice thing is about note repeat, I hold it down and as soon as I hold a note, if I've got follow on, it'll follow the arrangement, but it's also velocity sensitive. So depending on how hard you hit the pad, and you can sort of hold it harder and come off the pad a little, and it's quite sensitive. And that works on all of the hardware. So it's a nice touch. and. While you're, if you've got enough fingers, <laughs> you can change the timing while you're playing. So let's try recording some of that in, and I'll show you that it does just record in. And you can see the velocities there as I was holding that down 
uh, a little harder in the center of the pattern, and then I change the timing. And it's obviously perfectly quantized because the follow function was on, and it's made a pattern uh, that's perfectly uh, spaced for our scenes there. So that's great, there's note repeat. Next up, we're gonna take a closer look at scenes. I'm gonna show you what scenes are. I'm gonna show you how to organize them and the best way to handle them.